any sap functional module learning starts with one of the most important chapter known as enterprise structure so what is enterprise structure enterprise structure is a place in sap where we define the organizational units and its relationship in sap the organizational units include the legal company entities like sales office profit centers etc which actually handles the specific business functions so determining the enterprise structure design in sap is one of the fundamental process of any implementation project and we decide this enterprise structure based on the business scenarios performed in the industry once the enterprise structure in sap is decided by the process owner it will have its impact on how a transaction is performed and the reports are generated in sap so we must ensure that the enterprise structure in sap is designed in such a way that it can accommodate all the existing business scenarios and the company's requirements for the current and the future situations In simple terms I can see that enterprise structure in SAP represents the organizational hierarchy of a business yes this enterprise structure in SAP represents the organizational hierarchy of a business This diagram shows the enterprise structure with both SAP FI as well as SAP CO modules combined So we will look into this in detail in future videos but for now let's look at the overview if you observe here we have the operating concern at the top correct right we have got the operating concern at the top this is the main organizational unit of profitability analysis module or also known as copa The COPA acts as a management tool to analyze the specific markets and the business segments and this operating concern configuration is client independent this is very important that is the operating concern configuration is client independent that means once it is created in one client it will automatically have an impact on all clients the copa holds the highest rank in sap enterprise structure yes this copa always holds the highest rank in sap enterprise structure Usually we will have one operating concern in an organization and under this we will have controlling area a single operating concern can have multiple controlling area under it yes please remember this a single operating concern can have multiple controlling area under it the controlling area is actually the central organizational unit within the co module and it will be assigned to operating concern it is a place where internal reporting to the top management is done by managing the cost and the revenue under the controlling area we will have the company code we can assign more than one company code to controlling area based on the requirement so next comes the company code Company code is the smallest organizational unit in financial accounting module. Yes, the company code is the smallest organizational unit in the financial accounting module for which we draw the financial reports for the purposes of external reporting. This is one of the most important part of enterprise structure as the company code is assigned to most of the other modules for integration. Under the company code we have profit center and the cost center these are also the part of sap's enterprise structure within the finance and controlling they are also very important because it will help the company to allocate where the costs are allocated okay so this was about the overview of the enterprise structure with sap fi and co combined Since in this course we are learning on the SAP financial accounting perspective we will define five organizational units they are company company code business area consolidated business area and the credit control area so guys let's take the first organizational unit that is company company is the highest organizational structure in SAP FI module 
It is an organizational unit which can be used to generate the financial statements of the several company codes under it. In other words, I can say that it is used in the legal consolidation for all the company codes assigned to it. Now you may have the question as why we did not had the company organizational unit in the previous diagram. Why? It is because in SAP we assign the companies to company code and then these company codes are assigned to the control area so that all can be linked together. Clear? Great. Here let me give you an example of the company. Tata Company Private Limited. This can be an example of the company. Under Tata Company, it has subsidiaries as TCS, Tata Motors and Tata Steel. Tata Company represents the group of companies under it. And when they publish the report of $100 million profit, then it is a combination of profit of all its subsidiaries that is TCS, Tata Motors and Tata Steel. So guys, to summarize, company represents the group of the companies under it and we use it to generate the financial statements of the several company codes under it. Okay. And next we have is company code. As you know already, company code is the smallest organizational unit in the financial accounting module for which we draw the financial reports for the purposes of external reporting. It is an organizational level at which the actual business transactions are performed. Defining at least one company code is mandatory in implementing SAP. Yes, it is. And without the company code, we cannot implement SAP to an organization. Yes, please remember this. Without the company code, we cannot implement SAP to an organization. Hence, this is one of the very important configuration in SAP. In our example, TCS, Tata Motors and Tata Steels can be called as company code because business transactions are performed at the individual company code level. Clear with the concept? I'll again repeat this as it is very important. Whenever any business transaction happens in SAP like sales order, purchasing, updation of the account receivables and the account payables, all these things happens at the company code level and not on the company level. Got it? Now clear with the concept? Great. So this was all about the company and company code in SAP Financial Accounting Enterprise Structure.